So what's going on guys? My name is Violent with Grizz Zombies. Welcome to Infinite Warfare. Today we're going to be covering a weapon, an SMG called the VPR. Yesterday I did an April Fool's video about DLC 5 trailer. I know a lot of you guys were a little pissed about that, but hey man, you know, we live in a crazy world, so I thought I'd throw in just a little bit. I don't ever troll on this channel, so I figured now would be the time and the best time. So, apologize for that video, but it had to happen. Now we're getting a little more serious as we do this weapon review on the VPR. This is a Sting. This is the common version that you get out of the mystery wheel. This weapon was recently added. We had patch 1.12 that just went down. Back when patch 1.10 went down, we had the UDM and the RVN come in. First time we ever seen weapons actually patched into the game. This is the second iteration now where we have the VPR patched alongside the Exion. But that's for another video. We're talking about the VPR today. The magazine size 20 out of 160. So what I can take from this is that the magazine size is pretty low automatically. So the reload speed is something we have to take into consideration. As you can see, you can get caught up quite easily without any sort of speed reload. In this game, it's called Quickies. So when you grab that, you're going to notice the speed time of reloading is a lot faster. Now I'm going to show them back to back so you can get a better instance. It's not a lot faster, but it definitely makes a difference if you're getting trapped. Heading into the projection room, we're going to go ahead and pack punch this sucker for 5,000 points. When doing so, it doesn't increase the reload speed. You're still going to need quickies for that to be possible but it does increase the damage range. So single pack will increase the bullet damage, and that's what Pack-a-Punch has always done. Let me know if you guys like the projection room, that sort of Pack-a-Punch that Infinite Warfare has brought to the table. I did like the actual Pack-a-Punch machine that was brought in Treyarch Zombies, but this is a good iteration of its own. I think Infinite Warfare Zombies is a step in the right direction. It may not be perfect, but it's because the multiplayer was so bad, and that's why it's a lot of people are drawn off from it. So quickies is something I'm going to recommend with this weapon alongside bang bangs because bang bangs gives you more than one bullet coming out of your weapon when you shoot. Now by accepting bang bangs you also accept a hit to your ammo so it's going to go through a lot more ammo but if you shoot this correctly and just do pelt shots at the heads of the zombies you will clear them very fast just letting you know. There's magazine size 40 out of 320 so it was boosted quite a bit with this pack a punch and I think it can take you far. So let's have a look at what this can do when you unlock the full potential with infinite ammo. So there you have it, infinite ammo at its finest and if we get this sucker pack-a-punched all the way I'm sure it would do even more damage but I do not have footage of infinite ammo when it's fully pack punched. I just got lucky enough for a drop right there. So I hope you guys like that little bit of gameplay. Infinite ammo looks good on every gun. Any gun that you shoot and you have infinite ammo and go to town with, it does look really good. So that's what it looks like full spray. But now that we got this sucker pack a punch all the way double packed, it's called the Charya. And this sucker is really good. I'm talking massive damage. So you will slice through zombies Seriously, I'm on round 19 right now, and these zombies aren't even standing a chance. So this is definitely one of the top tier weapons now in the game. I highly recommend you go out and try this. The magazine size of the double pack of punch Charya is 60 out of 400. As we just saw in the single pack of punch, we had 320 as our ammo, so it gives you 40 more in your backup reserve, which is huge. So let's talk about the weekly podcast for just a second. We do not have a trailer coming until this Tuesday. This coming Tuesday, we will have a trailer, and we will know more about DLC 2. So we're kind of waiting for that opportunity to actually happen before we cover more news in Infinite Warfare. So the podcast will not be happening this week. It will be continuing next week. And we're trying to get COD Zombies HQ on as a guest. So this is the video I have for you instead of the podcast this week. But what do you guys think of the VPR? Are you going to pick this up from the mystery wheel? Let me know in the comments below. This weapon... I highly recommend because it's one of the best top tier weapons in the game right now. It is an SMG and for this to be patched in I'm surprised it's so good. Most weapons that are patched in tend to suck but these last two weapons, the Exion included, really were good weapons and I think this is something that's going to bring the community together just a little bit. Maybe not a lot but this is something we've been asking for especially in Black Ops 3 and Infinity Ward is delivering on that promise. So. We have a lot of hopes and expectations coming into DLC 2, but I think they're all going to be positive changes. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Violent out.